Hello, this is Jeremy with the Proctor Dealerships, and today we're going to be talking about fuel. The different types of fuels you can choose for your vehicle, the advantages of using the right fuels, and the disadvantages of using the wrong fuels. So stay tuned. When choosing the right fuel for your vehicle, always consult your owner's manual. And if that fails, just look inside your gas cap door and it should give you the guidelines. The better quality fuel you use for your vehicle, the better performance you will get from your vehicle. And fuel efficiency. When you're at the pumps choosing the fuel, you've usually got three choices. Regular, super, or premium. Octane ratings are the standard measure of fuels. The octane ratings are on the fuel pumps. The higher the octane rating, the higher the compression the fuel can stand before igniting itself, thus reducing spark knock. A spark knock is detrimental to your engine components. Choosing the right octane rating fuel for your vehicle is important. It ensures that you get good fuel efficiency. Gasoline is expensive these days, so we don't want to waste it. In the last few years, ethanol has been a component in our fuels, and it's been quite controversial with drawbacks and benefits. So let's talk about some of those. Ethanol, or ethyl alcohol, is produced primarily in this country from corn. The primary reason for using ethanol in fuels is just to boost the fuel quality and quantity, with most fuels today being a 10% blend of ethanol. Production of ethanol in the United States has tripled since 2007, making us the number one producer of ethanol on the planet. This helps us be less dependent on foreign fuels. One thing to note about ethanol is that it's 34% less volatile or less efficient than gasoline. One of the controversies behind ethanol is that it can actually begin to corrode aluminum parts in a fuel system. I haven't seen too much trouble with it, and we've seen ethanol used for a few years. However controversial ethanol may be, it actually reduces the cost of our fuel up to 29 to 40 cents on the gallon. So it helps our pocketbooks too. One more thing about ethanol is that it is a particulate free burning fuel. In other words, there's no particulates that come from it that go up into the atmosphere. It's much cleaner and less pollutant. That's one of the big reasons we use it. Let's talk about diesel fuel. Diesel is a fractional distillate of petroleum, a less volatile version of gasoline. Used in diesel engines, spark plugs are not needed. The fuel is ignited through compression of the engine once mixed with air. Leaded fuels have become a thing of the past at the pumps. If you drive a really old vehicle, and I mean old vehicles, it requires a little bit of lead in the fuel to perform well, and you can buy lead additives for fuel for older vehicles. But modern vehicles don't require lead at all. It's a bad pollutant. We don't need to send that up into the ozone layer. And that is one of the reasons that we use ethanol. It has actually replaced lead in fuels. Thanks again for watching. This is Jeremy with the Proctor Dealerships. Stay tuned for more car tips and thanks.